I'll just pose for a picture now. I think what really attracted me to electronic instruments and sounds was the fact that when I was uh, first writing music was in the late 60s. I was looking for instruments that made sounds that were more relevant to our culture, that were, that were things that sounded like what I heard on the news. What we have in this room is sort of a random, it just happens to be what's in the studio right now, collection of synths and uh, electronic gear. When Bob Moog was still alive, he was building the first Moog theremin. I said, here's money, I want 001, I want serial number zero. He goes, okay. And so six months later I called him and said, hey Bob, where's the, the theremin? He goes, ah, it's more complicated than I thought. So I started calling him every month. I'd keep thinking like, how come it's not here yet? Because I really wanted it. And finally, after about a year and a half, I called him and he says, Mark, stop calling me. I'm going to send you something. So he sent me his own personal memory Moog. That one has his, his original sounds in it. Jerry Casale, who I started Devo with, he and I were both um, visual artists. We were also in bands in the evening to help pay our way through college. We thought you could use whatever technique was necessary to solve your artistic problem. There were albums out in the 70s and 80s where, oh, somewhere if you turn it backwards, I think Ozzy Osbourne is saying Satan is rules or something like that. What if you did Christian backwards masking? Then they could get upset about the Christians that would be all confused. They wouldn't know what to get upset about. So I tried different things and then I came across... Uh, yeah, I came across... Uh, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. So I'm like, what's that sound like to me? So I, so I came up with this. We smell sausage. We smell sausage. We smell sausage. So I started putting that in everything I did. I put it in Rugrats. I put it in uh, uh, TV commercials. I put it in Devo songs. Anytime I had a chance, I put We Smell Sausage in reverse. So that you can... We smell sausage. We smell Anyhow, I think what's happening now with the internet and music and art, I think is a pretty amazing, great thing. I think, I wish I was 18 right now because I would love to be in a place where I could take advantage of all the technology that is available. In the early 70s, my brother Jim, who played drums for me, I said, Jim, I want the sound of V2 rockets and mortar blasts and, and helicopter noises for, for drum sounds. And there was no such thing like that available at the time. And he put together one of the first drum kits ever that was electronic. And, but, but in the process, he also started learning that you could fool around with, tech, with uh, circuitry. It's kind of how I've been since I was younger, where it's kind of making observations and I'm just kind of documenting my little part of the world during my lifetime, you know, just, just so that when the aliens come back and want to see what it is that they started uh, all those years ago, they can, uh, they can have different people's points of view and different people's history of what, what was happening on the planet at the time. Thank you.